Alright. Uh, welcome to the uh, uh, manga review. I think it's episode 11 now. I don't know, but I'll, I'll just put it in uh, one of those uh, bubbles there if I screw that up. Anyway, uh, this is volume 1 uh, of Kamiya Dori. And the artist is uh, K. Uh, Sambi? I think that's how, how you pronounce it. Uh, anyway. Kamiadori, Biohazard, from the creator of Test Testaroth? I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay. From K. Uh, Sanbi Sanabi, the creator of the hit se series Testosmos, or Testaroth. Oh. Comes a chilling vision of a virus that is utterly out of control. In a dark f uh, future, a bi biological disease that transforms humans into monsters called the Kamiadori plagues the city. The peacekeeping forces include a specially trained team called the Right Arms. These agents must keep tight control on those who are infected, and the only salvation they offer is execution. But when one Right Arms officer is unable to kill a young boy and his sister, he sets off a chain of events that may bring a ray of hope to the w to a world filled with despair and chaos. There's extreme caution in the case of in incident contact, quarantine response team, yada yeah, yada. Yeah. Anyway, this is an action, by the way. Uh, also, uh, it's an uh, older team, age uh, 16 up. And, as you can see, parental advisory. Uh, I, I'm not exactly one that I, I actually like the uh, the series, but uh, I might not. It might be one of those just buy the one book and go to a different series type things. But maybe in the near future, I might start uh, collecting it again. Either yeah, that, I rate the the story well a nine, and all the artwork maybe a seven or eight. But other than that. It's pretty damn cool. I do recommend it if you're interested in like stuff like maybe Resident Evil and so on and so forth. Anyway, pardon me. Uh, all right, going to the next one. Volume one by Makimura Kame from the creator of Gravitation. No, this is not a yaoi. Also, before I continue, I keep forgetting this. Okay, uh, Kamiadori was, uh, released in Japan there in 2004 by Tadaka Kadokawa Shoten, and, uh, first released, uh, in the U.S. by Tokyo Pop in December 2006. Now, going back to this one. Uh, alright, I already told you, uh, what volume this is and who the creator is, so I'll go to the back. Alright, Kenpai. Yuma... Yamada Shintaro is training to become a monster guardian. His job is to protect the monsters from harm. But when he meets Na Na Nao, a girl from his middle school, he suddenly falls in love with her necklet neckline. <laughs> Shintaro will go to any lengths to prevent the disruption of Nao's peaceful life and preserve his choice uh, view of her neck, which is kind of weird. Okay, this. I rate it a 10, both the story and the artwork. Not because it's one of my favorite au authors or, well, creators. It's just because I think it's cool. It, it's, um, I'll be honest with you, well, as you can tell from the storyline in the back there, it is not a yaoi. It's actually a um, comedy action, which is also, uh, it's also rated T for age 13 and up. Uh, anyway, this one was released in uh, Japan in 2001 and, uh, by Gintosha Comics and uh, it was released in the US by Tokyo Pop September 2005. Also, also a recommendation too, by the way. Now this one here, I find it hilarious. King of Hell by 
Ra In Su Kim Ja Hwan. Adapted by R. A. Jones. Which by the way guys, if I uh mispronounce any of the words, feel free to tell me. Anyway. This here is uh, an ad action fantasy. Also, it's probably one. I think I already said that. Okay, in the life of Maj, was a gifted sword. Ah, in life, Maj was a uh, uh, gifted swordsman. In death, he acts as a whimsical reaper before the king of hell, collecting the souls of the dead to bring them to the netherworld. All this changes when a mysterious rift opens between hell and earth, and evil spirits begin uh, to escape into the mortal realm. Now Maj must hunt down and destroy these mischievous demons before they. The rift is permanently open. Once again, the artwork. I'm gonna rate it a nine. Story, also nine. Uh, also, like I said in multiple things before, this is my own. Ah, this is just my own opinion on the rating system. Like it's a, my ratings mean nothing, but I do recommend this if you're interested. And I think I'm losing my voice. That's not good. Anyway, going on to the next one. Oh, wait, no, oh, hang on. Mm. Uh, alright, this was, uh, released in 2002 in, uh, in Korea, which this is a manhwa, and, uh, printed by Tokyo Pop in the U.S. in June 2003. Now, I actually have both... Okay, these two came in a set, I just thought I'd... Take them both in here. See if I can get them both in. All right. Volume one and two. Created by Shiro Ma Amano. Uh, anyway, if you played the freaking games, you know how awesome this series is. Um, the artwork. Okay. Ignore the cover here. The cover is a nine. The rest of the artwork on the inside, I'd have to say. Oh, I don't know. A ten. Joink. Anyway, uh, rated A for all ages, and well, it's a fantasy. The sequel to the best-selling Kingdom Hearts manga series. The door to Kingdom Hearts was sealed, dealing a blow to the Heartless and restoring the world to normal. But Riku and King Mickey were trapped inside. Now Sora, Donald, and Goofy search for their friends. Uh, Sora search for their friends leads them to the mysterious castle Oblivion, where a hooded figure tells them ahead lies something you need but to claim it, you must lose something dear. But what could uh, be more dear than one's own memories? Again, if you play the games you already know the storyline because if, if I'm not mistaken this, this story runs along with the games. Uh, feel free to correct me if there's anything different in it because unfortunately I've only gotten this far in the books, one and two. Uh, but once again, the artwork, I rated a ten story, well, uh, since I haven't played the games, I'll have to say a ten. Uh, ignore the last one I said that they're way mine, but anyway. Again, uh, I forget which store I bought these at, but uh, they were both fifteen bucks. Like, this was literally in a box set, got them both. Uh, anyway, the, uh, when was this brought out? When was this brought out? Okay, it was published in, oh shoot, uh, hang on here, the years that were used in this, like characters from Final Fantasy, because I cannot seem to find the actual thing where this was published. I know it was in Japan, but what year it was. So, Final Fantasy video game series, 1990, 1997. 1999, 2001, and 2002 by Square Enix. The book itself, I don't know uh, what year it was published in over in Japan, but first uh, Tokyo Pop print, uh, printing in the U.S. was October 2006. If you guys can find a year for me for this, let me know. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here.